All right, boys, so here we are, week six in season number three. We're number 12 in the nation, 4 and 0. We will be officially opening up SEC play here against Texas A&M. They're 2 and 3, but they're ranked number 23. Um, Kurt's rolling with them. They're better than us on paper, A plus, A, A plus. We've beat them every time we played them the first two years. We're B plus, B plus, A minus. Number one scoring offense once again. Number one total offense once again. Number one pass offense once again. Um... Rush defense, top 15, pass defense, still trash. Turnover differential, still killing us. Um, you know what I mean? Take a look at our leaders. Kelvin Franklin in four games, the true freshman. 21 touchdowns to only five picks, 1,600 yards. Uh, Dante Smith doing it, killing it on the ground. Seven touchdowns, 454 yards, seven, seven yards a carry, 113 yards a game. Uh, Cam Johnson leads us in catches. I mean, and receiving 18 for 492 with five touchdowns. Dimitri Moore leads us in tackles. Of course, Harris has one pick, and Williams leads us in sacks. Texas A&M's leader, uh, Kellen Moore is no longer with them. Kyle Zada, 992 yards, 14 touchdowns with four picks. 528 yards from their running back with one touchdown, and Bill is their leading receiver. Uh, Stewart leads them in tackles. Newton leads them in picks, and Johnson leads them in sacks. Taking a look at Texas A&M's... Uh, um, schedule. They lost to Clemson, USC, Bama, back to back to back. What a tough three game stretch to open up the season. Blown out by Clemson, blown out by USC, and lost by less than and lost by a touchdown to Bama. Then they beat Ole Miss, and then they beat Arkansas, and now they gotta come see us. Now, as far as receivers, we expected Cam Johnson to be that guy, but CJ Bowler, man, he is on pace to absolutely kill what he did the last two seasons. First season, 34 catches, 711 yards. Second season, 33 catches, 717 yards. Three touchdowns and five touchdowns. He already, in four games, has 20 catches, 396 yards, and five touchdowns. So he's already pretty much guaranteed to have more touchdowns than what he had and, you know, combined in the last two seasons. But already, you know, his yards per game is up 44 yards. But the main man who's really been killing it, Kelvin Franklin Jr. Now, you guys already know, you know, players get swagged out when they play well. And, um, you know what I mean? Um, I know you're probably going to kill whatever I put on them, but we're going to go ahead and change them up a little bit and make them a little bit more personable. Now, we didn't go crazy, you know. We just uh, added some color to them and, you know, put some sleeves on them. Uh, you guys said make his equipment a little bit better. This is... How I want him to look. I know y'all probably won't agree. Y'all probably going to say it's corny, blah, blah, blah. But this is Kevin Franklin's new look. And as long as he plays well, I can give a damn what he has on, really. Taking a look at Texas A&M's best players. They got a 96 overall D tackle, which means he's probably going to stuff the running lanes. Their kicker is a 95 overall, so he's probably going to knock through whatever he, whatever he puts up. And then they got a nasty free safety. So two of their best three players are on the defensive side of the ball. All right, boys, here we are. College Station, Texas at Kyle Field. Looking to keep our streak up against AM and and get this W. All right, boys, here we go. Starting off the game on the offensive side of the ball. You know we're bringing it out. Reigning returner of the year. Doing what he does. At least going to get back to the 25 for us. Let's get it. You see the impact player, Kelvin Franklin, last game. What a game. Ten touchdown passes, baby. Let's go. All right, here we go. First and ten, fellas. Boom, easy read. We got some blocks. Make some people miss. Ah, we don't, but we pick up the first. We have the number one pass in offense. But, you know what I mean? Our... our our rust offense has been, you know, a pleasant surprise for us this season. Uh, you know, ooh. I didn't expect Kevin Franklin to be this much of a great runner. We knew he was a great passer, but, you know what I mean, him being a true dual threat is a plus. All right, so my court, Kevin Franklin is super duper duper rattled. Uh, I had my tight end open. Oh, receiver wait, wide open down the field. Hit as we throw. There's nobody else but CJ Bowler. And we got six early on in the game, baby. 56-yard bomb. Let's go. So 
So offense stays hot, comes out and strikes first. You know, we're facing a three and out. Oh, actually, no, we weren't. I'm, I'm retarded. <laughs> Don't mind me. But nonetheless, we need the defense to, you know, to pick it up. He cuts it up, and we're all over it, baby. Let's go. Come on, run defense. On paper, it says our run defense is trash. You know what I'm saying? So we got to try to we gotta try to make a point to prove that we are nice. But when he tries to bounce to the outside, he breaks one tackle. DJ Moore comes to finish the job, baby. Let's go. I didn't need your help, kid. Playing the pass, of course. Oh, yeah, to come back to it. We make the tackle. Let's go three and out early. Let's go, defense. Boys, the way this offense is playing and clicking this year, this might be our year. I know we still got a true freshman quarterback, and he can come back down to earth at, at any time, but, man. Oh, that was a – oh, Dante Smith. Truck the person. You got two to beat. Make that block. Come on, Dante. Don't get caught. Ah, what a return, baby. Let's go. Yo, this team is dynamic, son. This team is dynamic, bro. We are ready, dog. This offense, psh, I'm telling you, we got nothing but playmakers out here, dog. Uh, I want to go with this play action, but everybody's running too deep, but we're going to run it anyway. And they're in there immediately. Oh, we break the tackle, though. Come with me. Hey, let's go. Yo, Kelvin Franklin Jr. is the best quarterback in the nation. I don't care if he's only 18 years old. The best quarterback in the nation, dog. That play was absolutely insane. And who else does he go to again besides C.J. Bowler? Come on, dog. Look at this. He's dead to rights, bro. Dead to rights immediately right after the play action. Stays composed. Get off me, sir. Get off me. Come on, CJ. Come with me. Dot. You know how we do on third downs. We sell out for the run. You got to beat us with the pass. It is indeed a run. I'm in the backfield. And okay. If they didn't. Uh, we slowed him up. We, 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 you know what I mean? We did get the tackle, but we tripped him up. But if they didn't let me. You know what I mean? Make a play back there. I would have been highly upset. All right, second and 16 after the sack. Boom, he's open. Come on, Samson State Brown. Let's go, baby. Third and three. Let's see if we can stay consistent on these third downs today. We get the overcommitment like we want it. We get some good blocking. Dante Smith finally hitting his full stride across the 50, baby. Let's go. But yeah, like I was saying in the beginning of the episode, Cam Johnson was on the Belitnikoff watch list, but C.J. Bowler is slowly trying to take over that spot on, as a Vanderbilt receiver. We just run it. Make a block. Make a block, Bast. We fumbled, but we're out of bounds, so we still get the first. It looks to be the move. Get it out there. Make the catch. Ah, you just underthrew him. Just underthrew him, man. You got to drop that over his shoulder, baby. If we had Chris Pierce, that would have been, been six for sure. Oh. Oh, I had somebody open. This is just a dumb throw. Maybe it's not. CJ Bowler, you know we're going for it on fourth. Do we take the points? Which one do we do? But y'all know me. You know we're, we stay aggressive. 36 yarder, but so what? We are here to put six on the board. Fourth and five. The line is horrible. You know what I mean? Almost backfires. Get down. All right, first down. Y'all like the line, like we almost have to roll out every play immediately. One thing I wish they would put in next gen football games. Is like, you know how we have the throwaway button, but instead of throwing it out of bounds, can we throw it down at a receiver's feet? Like on screen passes, what quarterbacks do instead of throwing it out of bounds, getting grounding, they'll throw it in the area of a receiver. That'd be cool. I mean, I know we won't have it on a 2013 game, but oh, look at this immediately, bro. <coughs> I said hike and dude was running, was running beside me. Here we go. Third and three. This is what we want. Watch out for the option or the screen. It's neither. Good defense, fellas. Good defense, fellas. Allen George. Let's go. Stay up, Allen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Defense. Let's go. Take away the cutback cheese. Nowhere to run. Let's get it, man. Straight locking up. So we catch a pick and uh, we do nothing with it. You know what I mean? Let's go. Man in motion doesn't scare us. It's probably still a run. It's actually indeed a pass. And he's wide open. Broken coverage there. Third and three, fellas. Oh, I knew he was going to go there. I just couldn't get there. But whose man was that? We're in man coverage. Let's put their dope kicker to work. They do have a dope kicker. Let's let him earn the points. Man in motion. Ah, make a play. You just watch this dude run in front of you, bro. Come on, Sean T. Jr. So far, we're 50% on third downs. We got to be able to pick this up. A and M has definitely been buckling down here a little bit. 
Got one. Yes, sir. CJ Bowler. Oh, I thought he was gonna break that. That's another first down, though. That's our fourth. That's our fourth one. All right, here we go. We're inside the red zone. Come on, Hudson. Come on, Hudson. Give me an end zone, baby. Let's go. Pump me up. 24-7, 24 7 is, your, is our lead here. You know what I mean? We got to really make a stop and really take over the game like I know we can. So quarterback's trying to take off. He has nowhere to go. A sack, of course. Who got that sack? Zach Williams, our sack leader. All right, covering everything up. Make a play. Oh, my goodness, yo. Colin Anderson, you were so lucky he dropped that, bro. Don't act like you did anything. He just dropped that. All right, here we go. Flushed out. One-on-one -on -one with a safety. Come on, CJ. Oh, my goodness. What a throw and catch. Perfect. Only where CJ Bowler can get it. He jumps up, comes down with both feet in bounds. Come on, man. Come on. Look at this. Eh, give me that. I'll take my three. Kick is up. It is good. Let's man up here, guys. Man seems to be our strong suit usually when it comes to defense. So I'd rather man up than play zone. Man in motion here. Get there. Knock it loose. Mm. Comes the blitz. Can we beat the, the, the running back? We can't. Uh, come on, fellas. Mm. So they're at least going to get three unless we create a turnover. Mm. Wow, he's wide open. Come on, fellas. We're in man coverage. No, we weren't actually. That was just a crap. That was just a good offensive play call against a crappy zone. So I can't even get mad at my defense there. Let's get a goal line stand, though. He broke that tackle. Yo, whose man is that? That was a touchdown, too. They should have gave that to him. You know what time it is. It's a run. Big boys up front, do y'all thing. Y'all thing. Do y'all thing. Oh, Haney got. Mm. I was in there with Haney, but I got I got I got held up on on somebody. So I think we're gonna run a, a little a little hail mary here. They got one safety high, so we might can get something off. Come on, CJ. Oh, what a catch! Oh, I thought we was gonna have at least one second left on the clock. <clears throat> that dude is a monster, bro. We're going into the locker room up 13. We're kicking the ball off the AM so they can theoretically get back in the game, but our defense has to pick it up. Our safety, Brendan Harris, has uh, has five tackles. Too many people are getting in the second level. It's a run. Get out there, Sean. Oh, I over-pursued. Jeez, oh, man. I got to break down and let, let go of the turbo and strafe more. Freshman mistake there by Sean Taylor. Look at that. Just uh, ran right past him. All right, we need it right here. Third and five. Got him underneath. CJ Bowler, who else can we go to? Who else will we go to? All right, so we lose four. Negative play. Take Smith out of the end zone. Oh, it's no safety high on Bowler out there. Oh, they're doing a good job of locking him up, though. He gets open. Let's go. Beats the press. We get six. And he breaks the school record, baby. Let's get it, man. The connection between Franklin and Bowler is insane. And he breaks the record set by C.J. Pierce just last season by a landslide. And it's only the third quarter, man. Let's go, fam. Look at his coverage here on this play. Bowler's being locked up. He finally beats it. Oh, it, was a, it got a lot, of, a lot of traffic came over there. Hudson Henry with a little pick. You know what I mean? Getting that separation. Let's go. Third and two, empty backfield. Don't fall for it, though. Don't fall for the okie doke. It's probably still a run. It is indeed in. We meet him at the hole, but he trucks whoever that was. I believe it was Sean Taylor Jr. Oh, it does. Well, he eludes it. Harris can't bring him down. Wow. We had him sacked. He he spun off of it. We met him right after that. Then he, he just trucks our DB. Just pushes him out the way. Come on, fellas. We got we to gotta make better tackles than that, fam. Man in motion, bro. It's a run. Oh, it's a counter. Good play call. What a stiff arm. And another one. And he's in the end zone. We got to come away with at least three here. Looking for six, but got to come away with at least three. Bowler in motion. Going to him. Make him make plays. Let him make plays. He broke that tackle. He's down. 
Make a play, Cam Johnson. I'm looking for you here. Got to make that throw. Yes, sir. Hudson, Henry, get off me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. Get those fours up. We're driving a little bit. We up six. We're trying to put more points on the board. Texas A&M is turning into a new team here in the second half. All right, here we go. Fresh off of a, a strip sack. Trying to get some of these yards back. They're over pursuing. Come on, Dante. Come on, Dante. Ah, break that tackle. We get a good 15 back. Let's go. 37. Take a look at the game track here. CJ Bowler having one hell of a day. He can't be stopped. He should have more than two touchdowns, but you know, things happen. But he's making amazing catches on over people's heads and everything. Take a look at his numbers here on the day. 10 catches, 261 yards, three touchdowns, and a new Vanderbilt record. That's definitely not going to help us take over the clock with incomplete passes. Man, I wish I could. All right. Come on, Cam. Oh, that's CJ Bowler on Cam Johnson's side, baby. Let's go. If I threw a bullet, maybe he would have scored. But, man, broken coverage there. They sent a, uh, a cornerback blitz. I felt it. We audibled up out of it. It was a duck thrown by Kelvin Franklin, nonetheless. But CJ Bowler comes down with it. Third and goal here. Thought we had an easy touchdown, but I was sadly mistaken. Come on, Dante. I need you. We hand it off. And we're in the end zone untouched, baby. Let's go. That should pretty much do it. But we still got to make one more stop. It's a draw play. Good call, too. Good play call, too. Oh, my goodness. He breaks another tackle. Jeez, we finally bring him down. I'm going to try to get a sack here with Zach Williams. Oh, they actually run the ball. Zach Williams can't stop the touchdown. Neither can Dimitri Moore. <laughs> All right, here we go, fellas. Looking for the dagger. Come on, CJ. Make that play Stupid. for us. Ah. Quarterback's taking off. We got a sack. Somebody bring his behind down. Finally, we do. The season he's having. His first year as a starter, too. Make the tackle. Let's go. Come on, fellas. Watch out for the screen, too. Might not be one with emotion. Hot route. Oh, we get to the QB once again. Uriah Rice, I see you. The problem with that last play was we couldn't step into the throw. We just kind of had to throw it. Flush out of the pocket immediately. Make this throw on the run. Yes, sir. Samson St. Brown, what a move. Get in the end zone, baby. Bang, let's get it, man. That's how you put the game away. All right, boys, clock is triple zeros. We get a big-time win here on the road. That's our fifth in a row. Kelvin Franklin Jr. played absolutely insane despite his one uh, pick, you know, that we threw. But he made up for it on the next drive with a, with a big, huge touchdown pass. And C.J. Bowler, 11 catches, 300 yards, three TDs. So let's take a look at the scoring summer. We shut them out in the first half, but then they really turned it up. They scored 14 every quarter after that. Um, you know, I mean, we, we got outscored in the second and third, and then we finally, finally took over again in the fourth quarter. And that was able, that was what propelled us to get this W. Kelvin Franklin goes 22 for 33, 429 yards, five touchdowns, one pick, 66 completion percentage. He was still sacked six times on the ground. He was 15 for 20. Smith was 13 for 32 on the touchdown. Receiving wise, we already went over CJ Bowler's beastly stats. Dante Smith, four for 32. Hudson Henry, three for 30 in the touchdown. Samson St. Brown, three for 67 in the touchdown. Uh, Brendan Harris led us in tackles with uh, 10, 8 solo, 7 all solo by Uriah Rice, 6, 5 solo for Moore, 6, 6 solo for Mahoney. Uh, we had 2, 3, 5 tackles for loss, 2 sacks that both went to Zach Williams. And then we also caught an interception. Allen George, he did his thing. And last thing in the return game, Cam Johnson had a good day, 36 yards. Uh, a return on a kick return and 18 yards per return on his punt return yards. So we uh we continue this uh this hot start to the uh, season number three. Hopefully we can keep it up and uh, hopefully we can continue to stay in the hunt and possibly be you know in the running for a national championship. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject ArcadeGames.com. I'm out of here. I want to give a special shout out to our Heisman sponsors, Isaac Johnson and AJO926.